Hey everyone, Tim with Tim's Computer Repair here. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a PC here that is having all of its downloads being blocked. Not just a select few, all of them. This computer is unable to download anything from the internet. Now there are a number of things that could be causing this, including, but not limited to, your antivirus software that's on the computer could be actually blocking your downloads, amongst other things. But you can see here in the downloads folder, the last download was from 2023. There's a small temp file here from 2024, not sure where that came from, but he said that this issue has been persistent for quite a long time and he's just flat out sick of it. Can't imagine using my PC for a business as that as he does, and you can't download anything. Let's just try to download something here. Tech Tool Store. We'll just click the download button, and it asks where you want to put it. We'll put it in the downloads folder. We'll go ahead and hit save. And as you can see here, techtoolstore.exe virus scan failed. And that's what they all say, virus scan failed. So that kind of points you to maybe... The antivirus not, uh, is blocking, not, not functioning properly. As you can see, there's no file that's been downloaded here in this folder. So definitely have an issue here. Now, the first thing in this case I would check, given that it says that the virus scan had failed on anything you download, I would check for any virus software you have here. But as you can see on this computer, it doesn't appear to be any type of antivirus running on this machine, at least third party. I think there is Windows Defender running on this, but we'll get to that in a second. Let's just, just to be sure, go into add remove programs here and see if there's any signs of a, a third party antivirus running on this computer. And as you can see here, we don't see any type of antivirus running on this machine. He did have WebRoot on this computer. I have removed it. So there's a possibility that there's still be some, some remnants of WebRoot on this computer that, are, that have uh, embedded itself in the registry. But I don't know. We'll have to just keep checking this out. So let's go ahead and run Task Manager to see what services are running here to see if we see any third-party antiviruses running uh, on this machine and after taking a close look here I don't see any type of a third-party antivirus running on this machine so that pretty much confirms that that's probably not the issue we'll just go ahead and close these windows out and we're just going to go ahead and jump right into the Windows Defender settings. Now, I've already been in this these settings and had a look, disable some things to no avail. But this would be another place that you would want to look if you're having this same issue to be sure you don't have uh, settings that are set up in Windows Defender that are blocking your downloads. But in here, everything looks okay. Doesn't look like there's anything wrong here with Windows Defender except for a couple of these that I turned off just to troubleshoot. I can turn those back on whenever I'm finished uh, fixing this problem. We'll just go ahead and turn back on the reputation uh, based protection there. So we have that activated. And again, you just want to kind of go through each individual setting here on Windows Defender if that's what you're you know, using, which after you uninstall your third-party antivirus, Windows Defender will activate. But going through all of the settings and just be sure they look okay, making sure there's nothing that can be blocking your downloads or setting in there or anything like that. But all of this looks just fine. Now, you want to be sure that it's just not one particular download that's being blocked because it could be a uh, false positive or something from Microsoft uh, you know, uh, security alert or whatever, but let's go ahead and download another piece of software just to be sure. This is VLC, completely safe and well-known program here. So we're going to let that 
download and it's going to ask where do you want to download this to of course we'll pick downloads we'll go ahead and hit save and we can see once again that it has uh, the virus scan that has failed so let's try another one 7-zip that's a common file should have no problems with that it wants to know where to download it to let's go ahead and save it there once again, so it's not just the particular file, it's every file that tries to download off the internet. So if you've exhausted all troubleshooting uh, steps, as I've shown here, and you're at your wit's end, there is a registry that we can change that can fix this problem. So let's just go ahead here and we'll open up RegEdit, get into our registry, we'll run RegEdit here. Go ahead and allow, and here's our, well, before we do any changes to this, we need to be sure to create a restore point. Anytime you're changing anything in the registry, let's be sure that you create a restore point. We'll just go into settings here, and in the search box, we'll just type in restore, and we'll, that should give you options to set up a restore point. It's right down here, as you see here, and there. See, I've already set one up, but here you want to be sure that you create a new restore point. Name it whatever you like. This way, if something does go wrong, whenever you are changing things in your registry, you will have a place to roll back to to restore that registry to what it was before you edited it. So while we're... While we are in uh, the registry, let's go ahead and click on H key local machine, then go to software. Then we want to come down to Microsoft. Once we do Microsoft, now we want to go down and go to Windows. It's down like such. Once you're in Windows, you want to go into current version. And then you want to find Policies. Once you're into policies, you want to locate attachments. Attachments is right there. And inside attachments, you will see the registry key here. The entry that says scan with antivirus. We want to change that key. We want to modify it. So we right click on that entry. And if we right click on it, we can select modify. Now we have the option of changing this value. The value here is set to three. So what we want to do is we want to change three, change it to zero. And what zero means is off. It just basically turns that feature off. You click OK and, and you're all done here. So we can close out the registry here and let's test now and see if we can download anything. We'll just go ahead and do 7-zip again. Uh, waiting for it. Yep, we, that's where we want to put it in the downloads folder. We hit save and up. Oh, look at there. We have 7-zip in the downloads folder. Excellent. Well, what about anything else? Can we download anything else? Let's find out. We'll just close this out and let's uh let's try tech tool store again that's such a good tool that tech tool store up there we go to the downloads let's hit save there it is very good so it looks like we have uh fixed this little problem so a little bit of a little bit of a registry issue you know perhaps something else like Maybe SFC scan now or something may have helped that. But I just wanted to make this video showing you guys that you this is a step you can take to uh, correct that issue. If you can't download anything from the Internet with that same error. Now, obviously, you want to go ahead and reboot your computer and try it all again to be sure it all still works as it should. You also want to go ahead, if you want to, uh, go ahead and reinstall any of the antiviruses that you may have uninstalled while troubleshooting this. Don't know if you want to strictly just rely on that Windows Defender all the time. 
Uh, Webroot is a really good antivirus, by the way. So that he did have the, it wasn't an issue with that. I initially thought it was, but it wasn't. Uh, it was actually some sort of registry uh, corruption. But anyways, I hope that helps somebody out. I'm Tim with Tim's Computer Repair. See you soon.